In this video, I'll show you how to tune a stepper vertical antenna using an SDA100 or optimizer controller. The basics of navigating the Create, Modify, and Controller interface are covered in our previous videos on tuning a Yagi antenna. So please watch the relevant video for your controller before watching this one. To tune a vertical antenna effectively, it is important to know how the antenna model is saved in the controller's memory. Here's how it works. The operating frequency range of the antenna is broken into segments which vary in size from a few kilohertz to a few megahertz. You can make one create modify adjustment in each segment and your adjustments will be interpolated across the segment. Subsequent adjustments in the same segment will override previous adjustments. A ham band may be contained in one or more frequency segments. For example, the 6 meter ham band, 50 to 54 megahertz, is contained in two segments, one from 49.5 to 51 megahertz and the other from 51 to 65 megahertz. The 10 meter band is also contained in two segments. The 80 meter band is contained in four segments and all other ham bands are contained in one segment each. For more detail on how the segments are allocated, refer to our video on advanced tuning techniques. Note that if you're planning to tune multiple adjacent segments, you should start by tuning the higher frequency segment first. There are two available modes on a vertical, normal and three quarter wavelength. On the SDA100 controller, you can change the mode by pressing the buttons on the display. The Norma button activates normal mode, the 180 button is disabled, and the Buy 3 quarter button activates 3 quarter wavelength mode. On the optimizer, you can change the mode by pressing the buttons on the display or by changing the selection through the Create Modify interface. In normal mode, the element is roughly a quarter wavelength long on the operating frequency. In three quarter wavelength mode, the element length is three quarter wavelength long. On the big IR vertical antenna, three quarter wavelength mode is required on six meters, optional on 10, 12, and 15 meters, and cannot be enabled on 17 meters through 80 meters due to the physical length of the antenna. On the small IR antenna, three quarter wavelength mode is required on six meters, and cannot be enabled on any other band. Unlike a Yagi antenna, there is only one element on a vertical antenna. To make the antenna resonant, the driven element length can be adjusted using the Create Modify feature. On the SDA100 controller, use the Find button to select the driven element and adjust the length with the Course button. On the optimizer, use the K1 knob to select the driven element length and adjust it with the K2 knob. With an SWR meter or analyzer connected to your feed line and set to the same frequency as your controller, change the driven element length while monitoring the SWR. Stepper verticals can be equipped with a loading coil to enable operation on the lower frequency bands. The loading coil uses a rotary switch to select tap positions which have been placed at intervals along the coil. In the SDA100 controller Create Modify interface, press the Fine Up button until tap appears. You can then change the tap position using the course buttons. On the optimizer, the tap position is labeled switch and shown in column three. You can change the tap position by highlighting it with the K1 knob and changing it with the K2 knob. There are six tap positions. Tap 1 bypasses the coil and is used on all of the non-loaded bands. As you increase the tap position, more of the coil will be introduced. Each tap position adds many inches of effective length to the antenna, so it is a coarse method of adjustment and generally not recommended for tuning the antenna. If you're having trouble tuning your vertical antenna using Create Modify alone, try adjusting your radials. Your radials make up the other half of your antenna, and they must be tuned as well by trimming them to a quarter wavelength for an elevated radial setup, or a minimum of a tenth wavelength for a ground mounted setup. For more information on selecting and tuning your radial setup, refer to our white paper, which I've linked in the description below. That's all for tuning a vertical antenna. Thanks for watching.